Today's lesson is hitting the post. All right. We talk about hitting the post. Hitting the post is just being on time at what you're doing. Now, what's really made me pretty decent about hitting the post is I have a lot of experience in radio. And in radio, you only have so much time to be able to get what you have to say in because you have to hit the post. If you're going to commercial, if the song's about ready to kick in with lyrics, you have to know how to hit the post. And that's what we call hitting the post. So like, let's say you're a radio DJ and you have a song that has 30 seconds of music before the vocals kick in. Well, that's called hitting the post because you have 30 seconds before the vocals kick in for you to say what you gotta say. In a radio, it's great because it counts down. So if you're on a computer, it shows you 30 seconds until the vocals kick in. So they program those into songs. So you're able to be able to like talk about this and talk about that. And then right before the vocals kick in, you're magically done with what you're saying. So that's hitting the post. And that's where it comes in the radio. All right. What I like to tell people to do, and we've talked about this in uh, other courses too as well. It's how do you practice something like that? That's not easy to do. Well, as a DJ for radio, you can turn on songs and you can count how long do they have. Like if a song has 30 seconds before the vocals kick in, you could practice just by hitting play on that song, talking for 30 seconds and getting into the vocals. Now you can practice it that way. You can also write down something that you want to say, which is about, let's say it's 30 seconds and you want to be able to say that in 30 seconds. Well, have a stopwatch, hit the timer, see if you can go exactly 30 seconds and time it out just right. All right, another thing I like to talk about in hitting the post is when the director is gonna talk to you. Okay, if you're on camera like I am right now, there's usually someone behind the scenes who tells you when you're about ready to go. And when they do that, they usually do a count and they do it with their hand. So a director, when you have about five seconds to go, would do this to you, five, four, three, two, one, and then point to you and you're on. So that's to start it and that's to get off there, okay? So in your mind, if you know 30 seconds, well, you're not gonna just keep talking for 30 seconds and just be quiet with no close or no proper open. No, you're gonna have a close. So when you get to that five second mark, you need to be able to close with that five seconds. You need to be able to close it out. And that's where the count comes in. So if your director and your producer is behind the camera and they're counting you, okay, you're done in, you need to know how to close that out perfectly. And that is what you have to do. You have to end solid for what you're doing at that point so it's perfect. Now, if you end five seconds too soon, that just sounds awkward. It's five seconds of dead air. So if you're supposed to fill 30 seconds and you fill 25 or you fill 20, that's five to 10 seconds of dead air which just doesn't sound right. It doesn't get you nice and tight to what you're doing. So hitting the post is so important in so many different aspects of announcing, being a DJ, being an announcer on stage, a keynote speaker, hitting the post. Timing it is Timing is everything when it comes down to that. If you know what 30 seconds is, let's face it, you know what 15 seconds is. If you know what 30 seconds is, let's face it, you know what 45 seconds is. You know what a minute is. You know what two minutes. If you can time yourself to 30 seconds, you can time yourself to a minute, two minutes, two and a half minutes, 90 seconds, whatever the case may be. You can time yourself and get it right for 30, and you can do the rest. So let me give you an example of, of hitting the post, okay? Let's say that I have, I'm told in my ear that I have 20 seconds to get to commercials, all right? And the finals are coming up after commercials. So I, and the director says, Brad, you have 20 seconds to wrap it up. So it'd be real easy. Well, that's gonna do it right here for the semifinals. They're in the books. The finals are coming up. Don't go anywhere because the finals are coming up next right after this. Boom. That took the 20 seconds. Look, I don't even need to count, but I know that was pretty much right on point. And that's tight right there. Now, here's another problem though. Here's something that can happen. Director can tell you 20 seconds, you're all. That's gonna do it for the semifinals. The finals are coming up in a little bit. The best of the best are gonna be thrown down for you. So don't go anywhere because the finals are coming up next. Now the director might say, no, 30 more seconds. And so in your head, what do you do? So after you say the finals are coming up next and he goes 30 more seconds, Brad, it is going to be something you don't want to miss. When we talk about the world's best athletes in the world out here competing for the gold, the silver, and the bronze, they're all ready. Are you ready? Qualifiers in the books. The finals are coming up next. See? 
I just added 30 seconds onto that, and I was told with one second to go to add 30 more. So you have to be able to be able to pick it up and keep going and pick something up and time that out. So if you're told 15 seconds and you get to that 15 seconds and they add 30 more seconds on, you got to make that seem seamless and come back on and know what's going on. And speaking of know what's going on, know where you're going. I ask my directors and I ask my producer, and I know because maybe I'm getting old, but I always ask them, where am I going, all right? Am I going to commercials? Am I going to video? Am I going to a start video? Am I sending it to a reporter? Where am I going? And when they tell me where I'm going, that way in my head, I always know I can get there. Even if he tells me 20 seconds and I get to 20 and he tells me 30 more, I still know I'm going to the same place. I just have to stall longer, all right? So that is what it's all about. You have to be able to time it out and hitting the post is the way to do it, to be on time be solid the way you're doing.